<sighs> After years, this is still the most stupid part of this level. After years, it's still the most stupid part. Bruh. <sighs> I, I mean, it wouldn't be a nine circles video without the stupid ass fell in the stupid ass cube section, wouldn't it? Uh, if you complete this level without dying in the cube section, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Boy, oh boy. GG, I guess. This is actually a great uh, April Fool's level for a daily level. I think Rob Top actually, this is a way better level than last year when, when we had like a weekly demon bloodlust. Uh, I think this is a way better because this is actually possible. Uh, and I think it's a great joke from Rob Top. That said, I don't like the level. Uh, I have pretty much the same disliking for this level as I've had three years ago. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, three years ago when I tried to beat this level, I spent 7k attempts on it, rage quit it, and then beat it one year later when I was better. And I've never had a good memory of, of that level, and now that I've replayed it three years later, when I'm more scaled, I still don't like it. I mean, it didn't take me that long, I mean, 500 is still a lot, um, I don't have any ex excuse for it, I'm just not the best at 9 circles levels, and this level is not that easy. But, I think this level... I'm not denying the fact that it revolutionized the game. It spawned a whole genre of levels and I'm not clowning on that. What I don't like is the gameplay. I don't think the gameplay is as great as anybody would think. You know, people saying this is the first nine circles level is the best nine circles level ever made. No. There were a lot of better levels in terms of gameplay. 2.0, 1.9, doesn't really matter when they came out. This one specifically, I think Nine Circles the original, is overrated in its gameplay by a long mile. The first ship, I don't know, I just never liked it. I always thought it was awkward, had awkward timings, awkward presses, and I never liked it. The ball is really good, and the first cube is good. And then, in the wave, I always had way more trouble with the normal wave, so the first portion of the wave, and then the mini wave to me was always much easier. Some people say otherwise, I don't know, it was just always like that to me. But 80% transition is still complete cancer. I don't know how Zobos made it and said, yeah, that's good. It's complete trash. I mean, I died only once to it, but I can. S I remember how just how, how much I raged because of that transition like three years ago. That drove me nuts. Um, and of course, who can forget the, f uh, the infamous last cube section, which which is just full of delayed annoying jumps. You know, when you're nervous. Now here's a couple of annoying jumps at the end. And of course, I, I died at 94 or 96. I don't remember. Uh, but that's just no. That's my personal opinion. I know a lot of people love this level. I don't. I never liked it. I, I still don't like it. I think it looks fine, I think it's a legendary level that, you know, reshaped GD in some way, but in terms of gameplay, I think it's pretty meh. It's not awful, but it's pretty meh. It's not as good as everybody thinks. That's just my opinion. But yeah, it's a, it's a good April Fool's joke, go play this if you can. Uh, and yeah, GG.